We are Sorted, a group of mates who have your back when it comes to all things food. From cooking battles, to gadget reviews, Man, it's not worth it. and cookbook challenges, to a midweek meal packs app. Crack your eggs and bake. We uncover the tools that'll help us all cook and eat smarter. Join our community where everything we do starts with you. Hello everyone. Now luckily for me and Ebers, James can get to the studio safely. So we've left him some presents, some gadgets to review. How's it going, mate? It's going well, thank you. How are you guys? All good. Just, just in need of a bit of a pick-me-up and a bit of judgmental James. That's what we've been missing. And everyone's been missing gadget reviews. Could you find present number one, pop it under the cloche and turn around for us? Wait, I need a cloche. Format is format. Spin it around, James. Wow. <laughs> you know I like unwrapping presents. Oh, oh, it's just like, it's like a bottle top that goes over a can. James, this is the Iris Tech Beer Pourer and Foamer. The ultrasonic bubble design is used to enrich the refreshing taste of the beer. A milky, silky foam can be tasted in several seconds. Enjoy amazing visuals. Infused with rich and delicate foam, everyone can simply make a golden ratio of beer, seven to three beer to foam. One of the things we've all been missing is the pub. So this is the solution to not being able to get draft beer at home. I'd say pour from one can like you normally would and pour from one with a gadget. But there's such a small can and such a big glass. James. I know, I know, but we can see the level of head. Right, I'm, I'm trying to control it with the tilt of the glass. Oh. Right, that is my first pour. Not bad at all, James. I think that's pretty decent. Now with the gadget, I wonder if this will change not just the appearance, but the consistency of the foam. Right, so first I have to work out how the hell to attack. That was easy. <laughs> <laughs> Press the power switch and pour the liquid simultaneously to create milk-like bubble. Oh yeah, that's changed it. I, ah, ah! Still want tilt, still want tilt. Don't just shoot it into a glass. But I didn't know, I, I thought maybe... Maybe you need right. to go again, James. Take two. I'll admit that that was definitely human error. <laughs> wow, it it works. I mean, in terms of our magic ratio of seven beer to three head, we, we're not quite there, are we? This is the difference right now. I know I know we're not very scientific with the glasses, but there you go. The the head does look very different though. It's it's a lot finer in terms of the bubbles. Fine. Okay, I'm gonna taste. Guys, they taste the same. Oh no! It definitely produces more head, but I don't know if that's something that we want. There may be a slight difference in the consistency of the bubbles, and I feel like it's a slightly unfair test because the, the moment that you have the head is the moment where you drink the, the very top of the beer, whereas when you're halfway down the glass, you, the, the head moves out of the way. Okay, James, how much do you think it is? I think it's about nine pounds and 97 pence. James, this is five pounds, 99 pence. It does work. So James, does it give you foam or does it just give you FOMO? All right. Um, <laughs> uh, I think it's gonna give me FOMO. Give us a spin and give us a lift. It's a punctual egg timer. That's... So boring. <laughs> Not just any egg timer, this is the OXO egg timer. Seven different settings allow you to choose how to get the perfect egg consistently with an egg piercer to prevent cracking Ow. and breaking and make easy peeling. I found that egg piercer. It just pierced my finger. Fridge cold eggs. We've got on the back, medium, large, extra large, and I assume J is jumbo. Right, I'm gonna do it to large though because I've got large eggs. Medium boil, I like medium boil. And then put your egg on top and give it a little prick. And what that does is stops it from cracking with any like extreme temperature differences as you drop it into the water. Once you're happy it's boiling, drop them in nice and quick. Let's see if the one that isn't pricked does crack and then set the timer. Neither of them have broken. We're on the second bar. Oh, sounds like a good time to put your toast in, James. There's my soldiers. In the circumstance of fair testing, I did use a regular timer on my eggs this morning. Fridge cold, seven minutes without a prick. Perfect. 
Well, I'll take them out. Oh no. Oh, I didn't think about the fact that I'd have to take the top off an egg and I'm notoriously bad at that. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> what the f- <laughs> oh. Everyone does this a different way. I'm in, I'm in. So large egg, fridge cold, and you set it to just below medium? Yeah, it's perhaps a little more cooked than I'd expect. If that's yolk, then that's not very dippy, is it? No, can't dip in that. But I would expect the egg to be slightly softer at the time that I set. Couple of questions. Would you use it? Is it useful? What do you reckon the price is? I, I don't know. I don't, I'm not convinced by it. You kind of know eggs by time. Like I would say, oh, that's a seven minute egg. That's a six minute egg. That's a four minute egg. It's a very subjective scale, I guess. Whereas the time isn't a subjective scale. I reckon it's 15 pounds. I'm going in high. You're not going in high enough. That's 25 pounds. That's 25 pounds for an egg timer. Wow. That's too much. Is this a gift of time or a waste of time? It does what it says it should do, but I don't know if it's necessary. There are simpler ways of doing it. And turn around, James. <laughs> you bought me a mug. This is the Ember Mug 2. It effortlessly solves a myriad of hot drink hiccups that we used to encounter every single day. Essentially, mate, it's a smart mug that you tell it what temperature you want your hot drink to be, it keeps it there. It comes with a lot of dadge. I'm gonna download the app. I feel like it's a little bit more prep than your average mug. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just press and hold the power button. Make yourself two cups of coffee, one in a regular mug, one in your special Ember mug too. Yeah. We'll leave it to one side and we'll come back to it. I have my favourite mug and my ember mug. Sure. I don't choose the mug. The mug chooses me. I've signed up to the app and it looks like this. James, you seem to have taken quite a negative attitude to it from the start. You can't sign into the website. You can't unsubscribe from anything. What is going on? Your, <laughs> Your mug is up to date. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Right, I filled both these mugs with a delicious fresh hot coffee. I think it's telling me that my coffee is currently at 69.5 degrees Celsius. Does it give a suggestion of? Out of the box, it says 57 degrees. Well, tell you what, mate, we've got another gadget for you to review. Why don't we leave those coffee cups to one side, we'll review the other gadget, and we'll come back to them at the end and see what's happened. You mean I'm gonna be distracted? Okay, Jamie. He's even put the clutch on when he know it doesn't fit. <laughs> I've done my bit. What have you got me? Oh, there's a smaller box inside. Oh, it's another, oh, oh it's really heavy. Oh, it's a smart pasta maker. Hey, this could be good. This is the smart pasta making machine, fully automatic to create your own delicious fresh pasta, including spaghetti, tagliatelle, noodles, and more. It claims to make fresh pasta in about six minutes and has a unique patented drying element to it so that it doesn't stick together as it comes out the machine. Like usually you'd have to make the dough, you'd have to rest it, then you'd have to have a separate machine to actually make it work, or you'd have to roll it out by hand, which doesn't always work. I like it so far. Well, James, we would like you to put it to the test with our mushroom cream cheese pasta recipe from the Pax app. That's why I've got all of these ingredients. Oh, it does have a big basic egg pasta dough recipe. 200 grams of flour to two eggs. Easy. This is a macaroni attachment. Are we happy with macaroni? I am. And you're eating it, so if you're I'm happy, <laughs> Very happy with that. A tablespoon of extra virgin oil and a pinch of salt. I'm excited for this one. Whoa, it's faster than I thought it would be. It's kneading. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of oil. There's like a bit of flour in each corner that it hasn't caught. Oh, has it stopped? Oh, oh! It stopped and started going the other way and now it's picking up all the flour. It, it stops lets it relax into the corners and then starts picking it up again. Fascinating. I mean, this is arguably 
a, if it works and it's good, a game change. You can step in the door after work midweek, throw 200 grams of flour, two eggs and a bit of salt into that, and off you want to do something else around the house and come back to fresh pasta in six minutes. It's working, it's working. We're done. So press the power button. Take out the chamber partition. The dough will be pushed automatically into the extrusion chamber. It's, it's doing something. Stuff, stuff, oh, stuff's happening. Oh, 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 oh. It's working. Wait. It's not cutting. I need to cut some. I need something to cut with. It didn't tell me this. <laughs> right, so what I was supposed to be doing is that, I'm guessing, as it comes out. Ah! <laughs> Going so fast. <laughs> oh, this is this takes a bit of skill. This is exciting. I'm wondering if it might be um, easier to just use a knife, but most of it's pretty good. So far, I'm really impressed. I've got two more questions, James. I wonder what the pasta's like because it hasn't rested, and secondly, is that thing going to be a nightmare to clean? Well, I think it's done. That bit's clean. Ooh. So it's only this bit that's a little dirty. I'm glad we chose macaroni because that was cool. Shall we make a dish? Okay, Ben has requested cream cheese mushroom pasta. Super easy. Put a medium saucepan of water over a high heat and bring it to a boil. Peel and thinly slice two cloves of garlic. Wash, then cut four portobello mushrooms into halves. Couldn't get any portobello mushrooms, so I'm using portobellini mushrooms. Then thinly slice 10 spring onions crosswise. Put a frying pan over a medium high heat and chuck in two tablespoons of butter. Throw in your garlic and mushrooms and fry for two to three minutes until the mushrooms begin to go brown and juicy. Dollop in 160 grams of cream cheese with one vegetable stock cube and a squeeze of lemon juice. Then add the spring onions and turn the heat down to low. Next step is to boil the pasta. It's fresh, so instead of eight to 10 minutes, it'll probably take two to three. There's a few perfect ones and a lot of imperfect ones. Grate the rest of your 10 grams of cheese over the whole thing and dig in. And there you go, that is dinner ready with my brand new fresh pasta. It probably took about the same time to make as it would to cook dried pasta. That's, that's impressive. James, it does look good. I have food. You have food, but you know what you also have? What? You also have two cups of coffee sitting on the kitchen worktop somewhere. Before we dig into the pasta, let's go back to the mug. It's tepid at best. Mmm, perfect temperature. So it does exactly what it says. Listen, it's, it's hot. I'm still angry about the app. How much do you think the Ember mug costs? Oh no, $59.99. <laughs> what if I told you it's $99.99? Oh, 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 that's horrific. I don't want to sign up with my email address to an app to have a cup of coffee. Is this a smart mug or just a mug for a mug? It's a hundred pounds, but it is it does what it says it does, so I'm confused and upset. I know what'll put a smile on your face. Cream cheese mushroom pasta! Yes! Is the pasta good? And is it good considering mm. pretty much hands-free you made fresh pasta in six minutes using your smart pasta making machine? Considering all of that, the pasta is very good. I think the reason it might not be as good as it could be is my user error. I, I would do that all the time. Like it's so easy just to throw everything in. I, I think the only thing it doesn't do is, is sheet pasta. The only thing that might put me off now is price. I'm gonna go at 59.99. It is substantially more than that. No. Oh no. It is 139.99. So it is the higher end of a domestic piece of kit. I don't know where to stand on it. I love it. I love it. It might be a little bit too expensive for me. Is it Hello Pasta or Pasta La Vista, baby? It's Hello Pasta. I like it. Well, that's what James thinks. But as always, what do you think? Comment down below and list them in order of preference, one to four. Which gadget did you or didn't you like? Hey, we can't go just yet because I've been getting an absolute rollicking from you lot because I've not 
been giving you enough dad jokes. So I thought, let's do a dad joke. What's Beethoven's favorite fruit? I know it, I know it. Banana. -na. <laughs> That's a good one. That is a I good one. I thought that would get a giggle. For those of you who want to know more about how our PAX app works, we've made a video explaining all you need to know, which you can watch using the link in the description or by visiting sorted.club forward slash PAX. And now for a bloop. Who yeah, knew just... when we missed out on exacting scientific standards? Who is Ebba's talking to when he does that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. I hope he's not with anyone. <laughs> <laughs>